comes from St. Matthew, the fifth chapter, beginning at verse 1. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and Jesus began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. I heard a story once, and I don't know if it's a true story or if it was just a great sermon illustration, but it's a great story and I'm going to share it with you today. It was about a young child who was taken to see a big church with stained glass windows, and it was the first time that the child had seen such a thing. And the child looked at the figures in the windows and said, who are they? It's a congregation with people depicted. And the guides explained that these are pictures of the saints. They have done amazing things throughout all of history to show God's love and to bring God's kingdom into this world. Their pictures are here in our church to inspire us and to bring us hope. Now later that day, the child went home and upon returning home, tells their caregivers about seeing the saints at the church. And the caregiver asked the child, and what is a saint? And the child said, a saint is someone who lets the light shine through. A saint is someone who lets the light shine through like stained glass in a sacred space. Now we are gathered here today having heard the names of saints called out to welcome us. We are gathered here today having heard the proclamation and the promise and the words of this gospel passage. And we are gathered here today as saints of God seeking to find a way to be the kind of people that let the light shine through. Our mission statement is build community, do justice, and make peace. And this is the statement that we measure our goals and our ministries by. Our council listens and discerns and prays and finds a way to make certain that our actions fit into this statement. And we do this because we feel it is rooted in the call of Christ to shine our light in this world. Now in this passage of Matthew, Jesus is offering hope and consolation to those in great and tremendous pain. Those that he is speaking to are not those that we would envy or want to be, yet perhaps we sometimes find ourselves there indeed. They are the poor in spirit, or those who struggle with their faith. They are those who mourn, those who are meek, And Jesus speaks and promises them that what they are experiencing right now, it will not last forever. And Jesus speaks to those doing the hard work among them, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, those who are merciful, those who are pure in heart, the peacemakers, those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Jesus looks to those working so hard to do justice and to make peace, And promises them a day when the fight will be over. When the work they have done will come to fruition. 
Now, I don't know exactly where each of you find yourselves today. What I do know are some of the places that our community finds itself in these last weeks. To those of us gathered here who are struggling with faith, and I'm not pointing anyone out because there's more than one of us. To those who doubt and question and eternally berate yourself for doing so, hear the words of Christ, you are blessed. Not because there are answers or because faith will ever be easy. You are blessed because the kingdom of God is something we struggle toward and fight for each and every day. And your struggle helps to bring it into the world. And you're not alone. And to those who mourn, my beloved ones here who mourn, there is so much grief that trickles into these walls. And I hear your cries for your family members who are gone, for the damage done to our planet and the pain in our ecosystem. For the brokenness of our economic system that leaves so many needing the basics of food and shelter that spur you into action. For the loss of life from illness and violence. I talk with you and I pray for you as you carry your grieving into this space. For those walking with Ebola, with cancer. For those walking in countries of violence and abuse of power as you pray for them. For those in desperate need of light and hope to our beloved in this community whose hearts are mourning. Jesus says that you will be comforted. In our building of community with and alongside one another and in our work Together, to change the world, you will be comforted. To the meek, to those who have little and feel they need to hope for less, Jesus promises an inheritance beyond measure. And we step forward to do justice and to make peace because this inheritance comes with our work and our advocacy alongside one another. We hear the promises of our gospel, and we do this work, and sometimes we are both the ones mourning and the ones who thirst and hunger for righteousness. And mysteriously and somehow in our work together, we find that we can be comforted and we can find hope. Because these promises made by Christ on that hill so long ago, they are truth, and they come to us all. These blessings come to each saint as we seek to allow God's light to shine through us. This day does not just recognize the saints who have gone before us. It also lifts us up and reminds us what our call is. To make this world better. To build up community with one another and throughout our world. To use the gifts we are given, including our hunger and thirst for righteousness. To do justice in our actions. To come together to find a way to make peace in this world. That God's kingdom of hope and love and peace might be the kingdom for all. It is not easy work. It can get you judged. It can get you persecuted. But it is the work that we are called to. It is the work that we do and that we will continue to do. So shine your lights Beloved saints of Christ, each and every one of you, and know that the promises of Christ are for you. 
May you find both comfort and challenge in this text so that together we can continue to bring the kingdom of God one step closer each day. Shine your light, be it little, be it large. Go and shine. Thanks be to God.